All right, guys, got another quick update on this. We've been busy trying to get stuff knocked out on this thing. Uh, quick update on the fuel tank and start working in on the headers. Uh, anyways, take a look at this. And we're working on getting a 55 Chevy fuel tank put in here. And we're working on figuring out how to mount it. We ended up making these brackets here. Slot in the bottom there where the fuel tank strap will go in and then these will weld like that and a piece of aluminum tubing will go over the top a piece like this sit there and it'll go in just like that sit on top of there alright here's how this setup works put the Tank strap through that slot, the bolt in like that. That's how it's gonna sit in the car, just like that. This will be the back. So that's where we are at. All right, here we are getting ready to weld the back tabs on for the fuel tank. Have them clamped on, spaced out right, angled right. This was the final product right before we're getting ready to weld it on. Preheat the cold metal before we tack weld it on so it gets a good weld. Uh, last night we got started in on the headers. Had a friend of mine who works for a heating and cooling place. Had a six hundred thousand dollar laser machine cut out the flanges for us, individual flanges for the header pipes, and we figured out where we wanted the collector to sit. And then we got one pipe lightly tacked together where we think we need it, and we're ready to start on the second pipe now. We got this piece tacked on last night. Uh, we had it too long to begin with. We're trying to keep them equal length left to right. That's why this one has a little extra whoop in it versus that one. Now we're working on uh, cylinder number four. Had to use uh, multiple bends, twist as you can see, in order to get it. We got a couple of washers in there to space this out so we can weld it inside. And then we will weld it right there. We'll put a little bit of a small spacer under here to keep it, the pipes separated. And that's what we're getting ready to do now. And that's approximately 10.30 at night. We got three pipes done. Trying to keep them as equal as we can, left to right. Got a few more splices in on some of these over here, especially this second one back. But it's still not bad. Got them pretty close to the same left to right. So we're really happy with the way it's turning out. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get that last pipe on there and we'll be done tacking it. Is that like any what similar to that side? Uh huh. Is that like similar to that side, this bend? We got the last header pipe welded on just a little bit before 2.30 in the afternoon see there. Got that all done. One little extra joint there in the middle. 
and to come out pretty close to what the other side is. There's that side, and there's that side. Now we have to finish welding them and grind them all down and then we'll be done. Alright, here's a view from inside the car what the headers look like. We are heating the collectors to try and form them better to the headers. We tack welded them on and they started popping off, so that's what we're in the process of doing. We got our header back today from getting the collector and the V-band welded on it. Came out real good. The only problem we had is it pulled the pipes a little bit. I think when we put studs in the heads, we'll be able to make them fit. Alright, that's going to do it for uh, this update. As you can see, uh, the headers come along real good. The fuel tank, uh, it's going in pretty easy as well. There'll be more on that later. Uh, I did not weld the, the headers up at all. We just tacked them with a MIG welder. And then uh, we sent them to a guy we know that does uh, real good TIG welding. Been doing it for like 30, 40 years. Uh, so he TIG welded up all the pipes for us. As we went along, he did uh, all the tubes at once. And then we tacked them all on the flanges, and he did those. And then we tack welded the, the uh, collectors to them, and then he welded those up as well. So he did all the welding out. We did not do that, and he did a very, very good job. So uh, headers come out great. I actually like building headers. I think it's fun. They went a lot quicker than I actually thought they would. So... Uh, Anyways, thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe.